Hey guys, today I'm going to do a review on the Nails Inc. nail polishes. These you can purchase at some shoppers drug marts, also Sephora sells these. These retail for about $12 each. Sometimes you can find them on sale. They have many different finishes, many different textures and I was fortunate enough to find these at Shoppers Drug Mart when they were getting rid of I think the whole line so I have 16 nail polishes to show you I got them at an amazing price so I'm definitely really happy so I'm going to go through the eight colors that I have and then I also got eight different textures so all my texture polishes I swatched over white nail polish I thought that would help show them the most uh, you can definitely try them over any other color for sure so it comes with 10 milliliters in each bottle which is not very much product that's less than Essie less than China Glaze less than OPI and these cost a lot so that alone, I mean, is really important to take into account. I probably would not pay full price for these, even though some of these are absolutely beautiful polishes. I think that price is just a bit too much. Um, but I'll definitely tell you which ones are my absolute favorite that I would totally recommend trying. Alright, so I'm going to get started. I'm going to go through the colors in kind of rainbow order, how I just um, put them together on my nail wheel. So this first color is called Kensington Palace Gardens. It is a absolutely beautiful pink peach and surprisingly it was very opaque, easy to work with. Some colors like this that are more like a pastel can be really hard to work with sometimes. Sometimes they're more matte or streaky and this one I find has a really nice formula, very easy to work with. So this would be a great summer, kind of spring color, just really nice and fun, especially if you have warm undertones in your skin. I think you'd really enjoy that color. Next is like a French pink. This is South Molten Street and it is the perfect like French manicure sheer pink. So when you see it on the wheel you can see here how sheer it is. You can fully see through it so it would be great if you had a white line already applied and you went over it to get that French effect which would help make your nails look a little bit more polished and clean without covering the white completely. It doesn't look streaky, it applies very well so I do really like that one. Next is a light warm nude shade. This is called Basil Street and this doesn't look amazing on me because I have more like pink undertones. This is more of a beige so once again if you have very warm undertones you will really enjoy that color. So. Yeah, very nice, very creamy, it is opaque, and it is a really nice nude. Next is a much cooler kind of gray nude. This is Porchester Square, and it is a very, very light kind of concrete gray. Amazing for, like, fall. Um, it's just a nice, goes with everything kind of color, and you could definitely do, like, accent nails or glitters over this, and I think it's just really, really nice. Then we move into this much darker gray, which is called the Thames, and it is a really dark cream gray, so you can see the really big difference between the light and the dark. This one seems a little bit boring to me. I think that every brand would make a color like this. It doesn't stand out to me as anything that impressive, so for me, I would wear a color like that with some glitter or something just to liven it up. Okay, next is this really beautiful blue. This looks exactly like Essie's Butler Please, which the formula on that one was terrible, and I think this one has a really nice formula. It's a slightly like semi-matte finish, but it applies really nice and opaque in two coats. And that one is called Baker Street. Okay, next is this green, Queen Victoria Street, and it is a really bright green, not for the faint of heart. It's definitely leaning a little bit more on the blue side. It's really nice, cream. Um, I really love the formula on this one. I don't think that many people will like this kind of color, but if you are into greens, I think it's a great one to try. Next is Royal Botanical Gardens. This is a really beautiful light blue, almost a little bit minty green, but I would say definitely more on the blue side, and I love the formula on this one. It is opaque, it applies well, it definitely really surprised me. I really enjoy it. It's called Royal Botanical Gardens. 
and both of the pink and the blue have these ice cream cones so I think they came out in the same kind of collection and they're both like great summer spring colors really nice formula for such light shades all right so that is it for the colors there are definitely some really amazing colors in the line I definitely really like the pink this kind of light gray the blue the green and the mint are really amazing colors and if you're looking for a nude French kind of color this one is a really good option Okay, so this first glitter is actually one of my favorites. It is called Diamond Arcade. It's one of their nail jewelry polishes, and I don't have anything like this. So it is a glitter in a clear base of all like holographic pieces. So there are like small circles and um, chunks, but then they actually have like pieces that are cut like jaggedy glass or something and they all reflect the rainbow. So it's absolutely beautiful, easy to apply. You could wear this over any color. I have it right now over uh, Masquerade, which is a shellac shade, but just as an accent nail, I think it brings so much fun to your manicure. So really, really like that one. This next one is in Sweets Way, and it is a Crelly base, so cream jelly kind of white that is quite sheer, and then you have silver, a rose gold, and a blue sort of circle glitters, and this one I really don't like that much. Uh, as you can see, I have it over the white, and you can't really see the base that much. And I guess I'm just not a fan of the colors they chose and the fact that they're all metallic is just not my favorite. So don't really love that one. And this next one I also just, I don't know why they chose the colors that they did. The packaging is absolutely beautiful. It's called Feathers and there's beautiful like almost white hand drawn like feathers and a bird. So the packaging is absolutely beautiful. Then you have these stick glitters which a lot of drugstore brands did this. Um, so it's all little sticks of kind of like a blue and a peachy orange. So the colors they chose, I just don't really like them. But um, the formula was good. It was pretty opaque. And um, yeah, so it's in a clear base. This next one I absolutely love. This one is called Bloomsbury Square. And this is one of their special effects 3D glitter. And this is a very, very dense purple glitter with the smallest, like, pieces of purple I've ever seen. And they have, like, I think they have, like, matte glitter and then some that are more shimmery and then, like, a hot pink in there. It is so beautiful, just the way the, the pieces catch the light. So I have this over the white, and you can imagine that if you did two coats, it would definitely be very opaque. I don't have any other polish like that. And just the fact that, like, I can't even see how small these pieces are is just crazy. It's really beautiful. And this one is also one of their 3D glitters in Marylebone. I don't know how to say that, but this is like a silver and pink and hot pink, really dense, really small glitter once again. And this is just like a disco ball. It's really, really nice, really dense, really fun color. So the two 3D glitters I think are really fun if you're looking for something like that. And this next one is just a regular glitter. It's called Chelsea Square and this is a clear base with tons of like a rose gold pink kind of um, glitter. So it's just the one color all throughout and I think that's what kind of puts it apart from the 3D glitters. So you can tell the difference between those two. Okay, so this next one, as I said, I put all these over white, so you can definitely see that this is in a Crelly base once again. And this has like a deep navy blue glitter and then like gold glitter in that kind of blue base. It's called Pudding Lane. And this one you definitely have to mix up before you apply it to try to make the base color pretty like even. This one's okay. I think it's one of my first ever like really like this with a colored base in it but I don't like the colors really that they chose and I find the blue appears a little uneven so definitely mix that up well before you use it. Next is this graffiti glitter in Old Street which is a really fun glitter. This would be great for Christmas if you did like green nails and then this is like a Christmas tree. It would be really fun. So you've got like red gold, green, blue, like 
little like hexes and tiny little pieces and also sticks. So it's a really, really fun, fun glitter that you could wear for Christmas, New Year's, anything like that over any kind of holiday color. I think it's a really fun, really nice and opaque glitter. So those are all the po polishes that I've tried from this line. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.